In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve first order differential equations by the Laplace transform. The question reads, solve the first order differential equation y prime plus y is equal to two if y at zero is equal to zero. To answer this question, I'll be following these four steps, so let's get started. Step number one tells us to take the Laplace transform of each side of the equation. So I'll take the Laplace transform of y prime plus the transform of y is equal to the transform of two. Step number one is accomplished. In step number two, we're expected to solve for the Laplace transform of y, which gives us our frequency function f of s. I'm gonna start by finding out what this is equal to. And according to this, the Laplace transform of f prime, which in our case is y prime, is equal to s times the transform of f of t minus f at zero. So I'll replace this with s times the Laplace transform of y minus y at zero, which in our case is equal to zero. That takes care of this. The Laplace transform of y, this part will keep the way it is and we'll solve for that because that's our goal in step number two, is equal to the transform of two. Now to do this one, I need to follow the following, which is a known transform found on this list, where if I take the transform of a constant, I end up with following number five, one over s. So this becomes one over s multiplied to two, which I'll show in a later step. That part's done. You'll notice that these two terms, this one and this one, have the Laplace transform of y in common. So I can factor that out. We get s minus one is equal to one over s. Dividing both sides by s minus one gives us the transform of y is equal to one over s times s minus one. Now something that I didn't consider while I was doing this step is that in the transform five, we have f of t is equal to one, but in our case, we have two. So to compensate for that two, what I should have done is multiplied this by two, this by two, and subsequently this by two. You'll notice that this expression can be matched up with transform 10. Take a look. Where a is equal to one. And as a result, we can switch this with one minus e to the power of negative a t where a is equal to one. This is fulfilling step number four, where we take the inverse transform to find y is equal to f of t. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the Laplace transform of y is equal to one minus e to the power of negative t multiplied to this two. This represents the answer, and that is how to solve first order differential equations by the Laplace transform. 